real quick before we start, I do want to mention that APB gate is using your Windows default input and output sounds. So you need to make sure the defaults are set to the DigiRig input and output, and you won't be able to use your computer for other audio. This is just for an iGate. Okay, this is a super quick video just to show you how to get your DigiRig, your Baofeng, and turn them into a simple iGate and DigiRipeater, DigiPeter for the APRS network on Windows. The reason we're doing this on Windows is because the Raspberry Pis are quite expensive right now, and you can pick up an old Windows laptop for significantly less than a Raspberry Pi. So that's what I'm using. Let's go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So the first link you're going to find in the video description is this website right here where you download the software, APBK Gate. It's a really lightweight software, it's really simple, and it's pretty dumb. Uh, dumb not in the sense that it's useless, dumb not in the sense that it only does one thing and it does it well. You're going to go ahead and download that, and it's going to download as a zip file. You're going to go ahead, open up the zip file, and extract it. And you're going to be looking at it, uh, a folder like this. You're going to go ahead and run APB gate. It's going to come up like this. You're going to need to put in your call sign, your APRS network password, which you can get by clicking get. It's going to pop open another browser window. You're going to put in your call sign. It's going to give you a unique uh, APRS network password that you can enter back in the iGate program. Okay, you're going to select your designated path that you would like. Uh, I like to use wide one. I'm in a congested APRS area. If you're in a more rural area and you want your packets to make more hops, then go ahead and go wider than that. Uh, your beacon comment is just something about your station, maybe what it is, what your power is, where you're at. That's going to appear on the public APRS.fi map. This is the symbol map. You're going to go ahead and pick a row and a column with the corresponding characters, and you can enter them back in this field here, and that will get you that symbol. You need to enter your longitude and latitude. You can find that off Google Maps or your ham grid or whichever longitude and latitude you'd like to use. It's got to be pretty close to where you're at because that's what the APRS network uses to determine what packets to send to your RFI gate for you to transmit out. Uh, same with your coverage area. Don't lie about this. It needs to be pretty accurate because, again, it will help the APRS network determine what packets need to be sent to you to handle. Now, you're going to want to filter out everything except for messages here. And you're going to say, why? Well, because if you don't filter out stuff, positions, objects, weather stations, blah, 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 you're going to get constant packets that are going to be bouncing around and you're just going to be clogging up the network with unnecessary packets. Those packets are already making their way in. You can select whether you want it to be an iGate or a DigiPeter or both. Uh, the iGate is two ways, which is why we're using a DigiRig to hold, hook up a radio. So for a Baofeng, you're going to pick PTT Serial. You're going to pick Pin 7 RTS. Leave the baud rate at 1200, leave the server the same, and you're going to want to take note of the COM port in your device manager that your DigiRig is. So mine would be uh, COM5, it's actually not showing up right now because I have the cable disconnected. But you're gonna, it's going to show up right here, and you're going to need to type in that COM port number. You can go ahead and save your configuration right here, and then you can click start the APRS service. As soon as you click start the service, it's going to beacon out a packet with your iGate information to let the APRS network know that your iGate is online and where it's at. So because I'm not connected directly to a radio right now, because my iGate is actually in use next to me, <laughs> um, this information is not valid, but it's going to show your position, your comment, and whatever you wrote about your iGate. And then it's going to start listening for packets from both the internet and RF. Because remember, this is a two-way iGate. 
if you're having trouble with your digirig not being read in your device manager here and you're you're seeing it under other devices with a yellow triangle what you're going to want to do is go to the second link in this video description it's going to bring you to this page you're going to click downloads and then you're going to download this third one right here not the one that says serial eliminator it eliminate not the one that says serial or and <laughs> You're gonna go <laughs> you're gonna download the third one here that says Windows drivers. You're gonna download that, unzip it, and then run the installation package for your system, and that will go ahead and bring your Digi Rig where it needs to be under COM ports, so you can use the correct COM port number. And remember, you have to match the COM port number here with the number in the iGate software. That's essentially it. Once you have it running and your beacon goes out over the network, you can check yourself on aprs.fi and you'll see we appear right here. This is what it's going to say. APBK gate v1.0 Windows I gate. And then your comment will appear right above that with your time and obviously your position is on the map. Any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll try to help you out.